In the early 70s, I opened up an optical store on the Las Vegas Strip, and the people who walked through my door. My mission was top secret. A man came into my office and said, we need some glasses. I said, okay. It's a prop for a movie. Okay. The uh, character is a detective. Okay. It's in the future. Okay. And they need a lot of circuits and electrical gadgets on them. It was Blade Runner. I originally designed these for a perky cocktail waitress in Las Vegas, but guess who made them famous? This incredibly gorgeous woman came in the store. And then when I realized who it was, I almost lost it. These hearts looked much cuter on Anne Margaret. Do these look familiar? They've become an icon. To make these for Elvis, I took them to an aircraft shop to have them cast out of aluminum. Then I hand finished them in my garage and fashioned the earpieces so they would truly be one of a kind. Of course, I had to take them for a test drive. One kind gentleman came in and he saw I was busy so he just leaned on the counter for a few minutes and waited and waited. And after about 10 minutes, the place cleared out a little bit and I looked at him to say, can I help you, sir? And he pointed to a picture of Andy Williams up on the wall and he said, I want a pair just like that. It was Andy Williams. Sammy Davis had quite a collection of eyewear. You probably know he had lost one eye in a car accident, so we made up special high-impact lenses for him to protect the other eye. I took a few pair to deliver over to his hotel room, an enormous suite. One of the things I was amazed by is where most of us would have a bowl of M&Ms on the coffee table, he had a humongous bowl full of packs of different brands of cigarettes. I'm actually the one who started putting rhinestones in rimless glasses. I made up a pair for Sammy Davis's wife, and when Diane Cannon saw them, she had to have a pair. Boy, could she light up a room. These were one of Elton John's favorites, but Mickey wasn't very happy.